PeopleSoft Asset Tracking provides you with a mobile physical inventory solution that replaces third-party integrations and lets you scan assets by location and retrieve asset information from the asset repository. You can access all of this information using a desktop, laptop, smartphone, or tablet. In this demonstration, let's access the physical inventory tile using a smartphone. The first step is to specify the physical inventory ID, or PI ID, and scan a location if you have one. For this example, we'll select PI Boston and leave the scan location blank to view the asset list. The system displays a list of physical inventory assets. You can see there are 25 unscanned assets in the physical inventory list. Notice that the left pane overlaps the right or main pane. In larger form factors, like tablets, the left pane appears expanded. Let's collapse the left pane and begin scanning assets to perform the inventory process. Normally, you scan an asset's barcode with a handheld scanner. The asset's tag number then appears in the scan value field and the system retrieves the asset from the asset repository. Here, the first asset we scan is a printer. You can now see information for the asset we just scanned. Notice that the Scanned tab in the left pane is incremented by 1 and the remaining assets decreased by 1. You can see that the last scanned asset also moves to the top of the inventory list with the date and time added. Let's collapse the pane and continue scanning. As you scan assets, you can verify that the information is correct and make changes to the scan record if needed. At any point in the scanning process, you can expand the left pane to see the assets you scanned as well as the assets that remain in the inventory list. You can also see that the inventory counts are kept in sync with the scanning. Let's collapse the pane and continue scanning. Click the Edit button to modify the asset information. You can change the scan options to hide or disable the editing of sensitive information. Here, we've enabled all the fields. Now, say you want to update the custodian of the printer. Let's assign the asset to George Joseph. The system updates the scan record with the change in the custodian. The message at the top of the page confirms the change. You can review this change during the physical inventory reconciliation process. Select the Notify option from the menu to send an email to the new custodian. The email message can be pre-filled with an address and any relevant asset data in the body of the message. Continuing to scan assets, you find a barcode sticker has been rubbed off, making it impossible to scan. Use the Find Asset function from the menu to locate the asset. The search parameters appear in the main pane. On a larger display, the search criteria and results appear in the left pane. Since we can't scan the barcode, we'll look for the serial ID to find the asset. Add the serial ID to the search criteria and click the search button. Select the result in the left pane. When the asset detail appears, you can confirm that it is the asset we were looking for. After confirming that the asset is correct, you can manually scan the asset. Selecting the Confirm Manual Scan button adds the asset to the inventory list. A message displays confirming the scan. The asset now appears in the physical inventory just like any other scanned asset. The asset also has a scan type of manual. Notice that you can always see the scan progress at any time by expanding the left pane. Here, you can see that the scan total has been incremented to 7, identifying the number of assets scanned. The inventory list shows assets that were recently scanned. What happens if you scan assets that are not found in the asset repository? You need to add them. Select the New Asset menu item. You can add all of the information you have about the asset. When you click Done, the asset gets added to the physical inventory list, and the list count increases. You can now see that the asset you just added appears in the inventory list. This asset can be further edited in the reconciliation process. Let's look at what happens when you scan assets that aren't in your list. Because we have direct access to the asset repository, whenever you scan an asset, even if it isn't in your scan scope or in the physical inventory list, the system still retrieves it and adds it to the list. Since the purpose of performing inventory is to scan all assets, it shouldn't matter if an asset is in the list or not. This asset will be marked as over for review and reconciliation. 
You'll see a notification on the banner once the asset is added, and you can check the counts for the physical inventory. Another way that you can add inventory assets within the physical inventory tile is to automatically update the location of assets with the location that you are physically scanning in. To use this feature, you need to start with a new physical inventory ID. Let's add the scan location for Boston this time. Let's collapse the left pane and start scanning assets just like we did with the previous physical inventory. As you can see, scanning assets works just as it did when we didn't set a location. Now, let's scan an asset that has a location in the system that's different than the physical location. After we scan the asset, the location is updated to our location and is highlighted in red. We can also see that there's a location change when we expand the left pane to see the inventory list and scan counts. The asset tracking feature is also optimized for tablets. Let's take a quick look at the physical inventory tile in a tablet. Here, you can see that the physical inventory list is displayed alongside the right pane. This allows for assets to be scanned directly from the same screen as the list. Now, let's scan an asset. As with smartphones, the last scanned asset is at the top of the list. The list counts are updated and assets are displayed in the right pane. Now let's go back to the landing page and look at another way to scan assets in a particular location. Using Scan by Location, you can scan assets outside of the physical inventory process and it serves as an audit mechanism to record the assets and their location when the assets are scanned. Let's scan assets that are in the US-013 location. Notice that in Scan by Location, the left pane is blank, which differs from what we saw when we processed physical inventory. For Scan by Location, you're building an audit history for assets in a location, so there is no pre-built asset list. As you scan assets, you'll be creating a list of assets in a location. This is similar to physical inventory, but there are a few notable differences. For example, here, the Edit button only allows you to edit comments. Since we're outside of the physical inventory process, there's no staging of asset changes and so there's no mechanism to edit asset details. The location is the only attribute that can be updated. For now, we'll add a comment and return to scanning assets. As you scan assets, they're added to the audit list. If you scan an asset that has a different location in the asset record, the audit history is saved with the asset's repository location and the scanned location. So, for the asset we're scanning, we save the repository location of US-017 and the scanned location of US-013, but the information on the actual asset record is not modified. However, there is an option to force this update. Let's go back to the first page in the Scan by Location feature. The Force Asset Location Update switch lets you automatically update the asset record with the location for the asset. Let's start scanning assets in a new location, US-017, Boston. As before, the Scan by Location page starts with no assets in the Audit History list. You can see the scanned assets in the list and the asset details in the right pane. Now let's scan another asset. The first thing you notice is a location change announcement. Because we set the Force Asset Location Update switch on, the asset's location has been updated from US-013 Vermont to US-017 Boston. This update directly modifies the asset location in the asset repository and creates a new effective dated row. You can find both the new and old location in the scan history. PeopleSoft Asset Tracking completes the PeopleSoft Delivered Asset Physical Inventory solution by enabling the asset scanning component of the business process. Asset Tracking also provides audit and search capabilities to speed up and simplify your day-to-day -day asset management functions. For more information about asset tracking, including the features not covered in this video, go to peoplesoftinfo.com.